Welcome to Alchemical Science. I'm Jordan, an open source researcher who investigates science that's usually either very old, very new, or very esoteric. So a lot of things have happened over the last week, um, and I thought I'd just give everyone a quick update on all of the new things I've been seeing and hearing about Malcolm's recently publicly revealed plasmoid technology, um, while I'm still hard at work scripting the next part in my deciphering the plasmoid unification model series. But first, a quick note from my sponsor, myself. These short videos take days and weeks to research. If you value what I'm doing and want to see more, please consider donating a small amount with the link in the description. You don't have to, I'm going to do it anyway, but similar to how this plasmoid, when it feeds on protons within its sphere of influence, grows from 10 to the power of minus 12 microns in size to a whopping 100 microns, for every viewer donated coffee I drink, my research productivity is increased with similar proportionality. Experts would consider these kind of increases to my productivity as significant. It's a no-brainer. Alchemical science, enable the madness, donate today. Alright, so most importantly, if you haven't already checked it out, the Tesla Tech livestream footage has been released with some behind-the-scenes footage there as well. Um, you can find it on HowTube, and you'll find a direct link to it in the description here. You will have to pay $30 to get access, but don't mind. It costs Tesla Tech money and time to organize the conference and record it for us. And this is true independent science. Jump on board. If you're not curious enough to check it all out yourself yet, though, I'll give you a quick rundown of what we saw. There is some footage um, on the guys putting the generator together before the conference with Greg Volk asking some questions of the team. Uh, there's an interview with George Lush from the UK aerospace and uh, metallurgy company Lush Heat Treatment Limited uh, about his experience working on annealing the spheres and seeing the prototype in action. There's also an interview with Steve Sanchez, a retired aerospace engineer who worked for defense contractors in the past and who was part of the team who put the prototype together a few days before the conference. Um, and you'll also get all of the live stream footage from the two nights of the conference with more from Steve Sanchez, as well as uh, Cyan Willeman, a student of VBM, who was also part of the build team. And we also hear from Robert Hutchins, Moray King, Phil Dubois, another fellow Jed who was there to study the unit from an engineering and mass manufacturing perspective. And we also hear from Nikita, who attended to test the generator with his mass spectrometer, and he holds a graduate degree in chemical engineering. And there's probably a few others there too, um, so I'm sorry if I missed any names as I was just scrolling back through the footage. And of course, Malcolm's full talks from both nights are up there as well. I also got a chance to chat to the man himself, Malcolm, and he shared some recent news from on the ground in the UK, where his team is still working on a larger scale prototype and allowing a large network of scientists with various qualifications to do analysis with their own gear on another new build of the Thunderstorm generator, uh, which he sent me a picture of here, um, that they've put together. And uh, Randall Carlson and his team also apparently visited the other day with their own equipment, including high-end thermal cameras. And apparently their trials went really well. Um, they obtained the same data that Malcolm was obtaining from his original um, trials with the cameras. And so we should also hopefully see some of their results soon too. Malcolm tells me they've also been offered the opportunity to subject the generator to scrutiny at um, an advanced water analysis lab. Uh, so we should hopefully gain a lot of insight into what's happening with the water itself within the device um, when the results of those trials are released. And he mentioned, and I hope I'm getting this correct, but there's some kind of pH change that occurs in the water uh, with the plasmoids always bringing the pH eventually to exactly seven and then maintaining that. So that should be quite interesting to see. Uh, more on that. And he also provided us with some pictures of the larger scale generator prototypes that his team are building for new trials on a gas run substation in the UK, which I've got some photos of here as well. And so if you haven't realized yet, there are some massive projects going on um, involving Malcolm's plasmoid tech already. There are industry and academic heavyweights involved, um, some of who we've mentioned, but there's many more who are even more recently seeing uh, the prototype as they're showing the new one off and, and subjecting it to more testing. Um, and even more scientists are getting a chance to check it out by the day. So the R&D for mass production is underway, um, as you'll see in the videos, uh, if you watch them, the Tesla Tech ones. 
and there's already financial and industry backing for a lot of these things. So um, if you're interested in investing in the tech yourself, apparently Alpha Prospects um, have been granted the license to distribute Malcolm's plasmoid tech in Thailand and several other countries, um, and they're currently seeking investors. So I've included the link to that, um, their contact details and their PowerPoint down in the description. And I'm not affiliated, I'm just putting it out there. As you've probably seen from the videos, I'm genuinely excited about the technology. And so I just think letting you know how you can get involved in any form uh, is a good idea. That's what I'm aiming to do. So in other news, I'll be checking out the build of the Thunderstorm generator here in Australia within the next week or so, and chatting to the engineers over here who worked on the project uh, about the build process and their experiences trialing the new technology uh, with Malcolm and building it. And I'll obviously film all of this and share it with you guys. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so now. And if you have any questions, I'm not sure what tools we'll have there, if any, um, to analyze things. I'm not equipped with a lab, but if there's anything basic you want to see here, you know, I'm going to go through it as thoroughly as possible and they're not going to be hiding anything. You know, we're, we're going there to look at the generator and um, try and explore how it runs as thoroughly as we can. So if you've got any experience there, if you want to offer any advice or any, um, you know, things to look for, things you're interested in seeing close up, please let me know and I'll consider those. Otherwise, forever hold your peace. Although I'm sure, yeah, you're going to get much more uh, opportunity to try this in the near future when there's more prototypes available um, for testing. So the channel's mainly going to be covering news about Malcolm Bendel um, and also Marco Roden's work still for a little while now. Um, so we're going to take a real deep dive into Malcolm's inventions and story and attempt to fully document what I believe is the beginning of the new industrial revolution. And I believe that because of what I've seen of the science and, you know, there's those out there saying it's not science, but again, you know, I really question your authority to do that. This is stuff that's making sense to me, that's making sense to many others and the many others that have reached out to me. Um, and yeah, as I say, frankly, like we are up for debate on this. We are up for people presenting evidence, but uh, anything unproductive, just like Malcolm's a scammer, this kind of gossip magazine crap that's frankly untrue and it's evidential. You can go and look it up yourself. It's just going to be deleted. I've got no patience for it. We're really excited about exploring the science in this channel, and it's going to be a lot about that from now on. So otherwise, subscribe um, and, and follow on, because this is really exciting stuff. I'm excited. So stay tuned for the live testing, uh, hopefully this week or next week, and in the next part of the Plasmoid Unification Table series, which may take a little bit longer because it's doing my head in. It's very complicated, but it's, it's brilliant. Um, there's a lot in there. Thanks for watching.